Uh, Gurmeet, do stay on. We've got a corporate conversation uh, to go to. City Union Bank uh, is on our radar. The company laid out its guidance in the conference call recently. They are looking at a loan growth of 15 to 18 percent for FI23, and they expect margins to remain about 3.85 to 4 percent. The company also expects the asset quality to improve significantly by the end of the year as slippages come down. N. Kamakodi, the MD and CEO of City Union Bank, now joins in. Uh, Mr. Kamakodi, morning. Rima here. Your loan growth in the first half of the year has lagged the industry. You are expecting things to pick up in the second half of the year, which is why you've given that guidance of 15 to 18%. Can you tell us where the growth is going to come from? Up until now, it was a lot about gold loans doing well for you, metals, textile. Um, can you give us a detail segment-wise? Where is it that you are seeing growth and where is it that growth perhaps is pausing or faltering? Uh, if you remember uh, uh, the uh, way back in uh, 2019, uh, November, December, after the con call, we said uh, things were not going okay after the, uh, even it was before the uh, COVID times that we are taking our uh, legs off the growth pedal. Then after that, the COVID hit and uh, things were uh, uh, like a, uh, not okay. And we thought that things will be improving towards the end of the financial year uh, 21 and 22. But uh, the uh, uncertainties about the inflation oil price because of the war and all postponed uh, things. But things improved with the uh, like say, uh, last quarter, a significant improvement uh, we were able to see at least on uh, uh, like say, the uh, expectation wise. The uh, major uh, uh, change is that the impact of uh, the uh, oil price war or inflation and all were not as deep as it was expected at the uh, year beginning. And the uh, capacity utilization, we, uh, that is one thing which is uh, slightly getting delayed is the capacity utilization. Normally, when it crosses about uh, 85 percentage or so, the investment cycle will start. We uh, were expecting the investment cycle to start. Uh, maybe it's getting delayed by a few months or whatever it is. So the things are uh, not as bad as originally we thought at the beginning of the uh, calendar year, but uh, uh, significant improvement. And uh, that's why we said uh, we will be improving, which will be to, uh, towards the end of the current year. So we uh, still believe that, uh, uh, like, say, we should be closing the year with about 15 to 18 percentage of growth. Uh, slowly and steadily, uh, things are improving. But uh, one, uh, uh, like, say, the uh, factor which is not uh, uh, happening as per uh, we uh, as per our expectation, our investment cycle would have, should have already started based on the anecdotal evidences and uh, discussions we had with our customers and all, which is getting slightly delayed. Still, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, capacity utilization is just touching the uh, pre-COVID level, and uh, at least four five percentage points improvement is needed to see the investment cycle uh, coming back to. As you suggested, the gold loan is uh, uh, really uh, doing well. So, taking into consideration all these factors, we expect we should be closing the uh, year with, uh, uh, as suggested, between fifteen and eighteen percentage for the year end. You said the investment uh, growth cycle has been pushed forward versus your expectation. What are your corporate conversations like? Um, and uh, is this in the larger enterprises? It is, was it in the mid-size, the smaller size? Some more color on the statement that you made, sir? Yeah, uh, we are uh, uh, basically bankers for the uh, uh, small and medium scale enterprises, commercial trading and agriculture. We are not into a large uh, uh, corporate side. Even in the mid-segment, uh, uh, we are uh, seeing uh, now a lot of uh, discussions on investment in the, particularly on the uh, solar and uh, other uh, renewable uh, energy and all. Uh, basically, we were uh, uh, expecting, like say last year, uh, perhaps the uh, textile industry in uh, this part of the world, particularly in uh, uh, Tamil Nadu, saw huge uh, uh, opportunities and uh, positivity. But currently, later, because of the uh, cotton prices and all, uh, some amount of uh, uh, minor uh, sluggishness in the things are there. Based on that, we were uh, getting a lot of particularly discussions on the, uh, I mean, people have started uh, discussing about the uh, ca like the capacity increase and the investment in the uh, renewable energy and all. But uh, as per our uh, expectation, originally the things investment should have already started, but it is getting uh, maybe postponed by a couple of months or so. Uh, uh, so we are uh, still expecting uh, uh, the, uh, we should be able to get into that bracket of 15 to 18 percentage per year. Okay. Hi. Good morning, Mr. Kamakodi. Uh, you know, in the last 48 hours, the big news we got is the, the Tata Group, they're consolidating their, uh, you know, uh, uh, their uh, airline business. And that could mean that a bigger competitor is out there, which could mean not such good news for SpiceJet. At least that's the broad understanding. Now, you, SpiceJet has exposure to your bank. Could you give us a sense? The payments are coming. What is the total outstanding or have there been any delays? See, uh, 
see the uh, basically uh, as you know uh, the our exposure to uh, space jet uh, i mean we had uh, never been into financing large corporates in the past like that's why even when the uh, aqr cycle started in the banking industry we were not uh, uh, hit because we were not having exposure in that segment our exposure to space jet basically started with the previous promoter who is our uh, long standing customer long standing customer so here uh, in fact uh, uh, we we wanted to uh, exit them we had uh, like say originally uh, about exposure up to uh, 100 crore after we recalled the advances uh, they have uh, repaid up to about uh, 15 crores or so they have given their uh, uh, monthly schedule up to uh, like say june uh, 2023 up to now whatever commitment they gave and post rated checks they gave that they have been making their re- uh, uh, repayments uh, uh, on time so the uh, as uh, we had uh, suggested we had uh, uh, like a uh, uh, made questions for provision for uh, that particular uh, account so far so good like say the already uh, they have clearly spelled out their plan and uh, 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 the uh, the repayment uh, from spice jet is as per their uh, uh, commitment uh, uh, the agreement which we entered uh, a few months back all right very quickly mr kamagodi you have reiterated that 15 to 18% growth is what you are targeting until now your you know spicejet is honoring all the payments so that's good news a quick question on your nims they're already the upper end so can you maintain it at these levels and roas earlier you were talking about around 1.5% you've surpassed that what's the trajectory on both these two fronts See, uh, basically, yes, uh, you are right. We expect we should be having the, uh, uh, like, say, uh, uh, closing the year with uh, 15 to, uh, uh, I mean, 18 percentage bracket uh, uh, is uh, what uh, the uh, confidence we still have at this point of time. And uh, on ROI front, uh, we typically had 1.5 percentage plus uh, uh, for uh, uh, many years. So we, uh, when the COVID struck uh, on the uh, financial year 20, we closed the year with one pa- uh, one percentage ROA and took everything over and above that as the uh, provisions. And we uh, slowly saw that increasing to 1.15 and 1.35, and we said we should be getting back to that uh, 1.5 ROA for the financial year 22-23. Uh, yes, we had. Uh, basically, our expectation is that I mean, uh, even though we expected things to happen in the second half, we could see that happening in the first half. so we uh, hope uh, we should be having year as a whole that could always be quarterly abrasion and all as we have seen in the past year as a whole we 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 we, we are uh, we expect uh, we should be able to touch our pre covid level of uh, uh, 1.5 uh, around 1.5 whatever we have uh, uh, seen now mr kamkodi in terms of the uh, mr kamkodi Kamu- yeah. sorry apologies sir. we're just running into market opening uh, but you know we got we got it uh, and uh, profitability in the second half will continue to remain very very solid Appreciate you joining in, sir, and hope to have you back again for an update once I think uh, we have the third quarter results with us. That's sometime in January. Thank you. We'll take a very quick break here. Uh, just what 12 minutes to go for the pre-open. Sudarshan and Mitesh are going to be with us.